What's up guys, today I'm going to show you how to make the skeleton effect. Um, I saw it somewhere before and I don't know where exactly, but today I'm going to show you how to do that. So let's just get right into the video. Okay, so we got our clip and we want the effect to appear somewhere around here. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is go to the pain tool, which is up here, or you can also press Ctrl plus B. Then you'll go to the right and here you'll normally see brushes and paint. And if you don't see that, you can go to window and here you can enable them. So somewhere yeah, here brushes and then paint as well which is here all right so we're gonna open up these two all right then if this one is grayed out like you can select anything you just need to click twice on your clip and then you just want to quickly select a different tool like this one and then reselect it all right so now we're going to paint on it so we're basically just gonna draw some kind of skull i'm not the best at drawing but honestly like you don't need to be very good at it so you're just going to change the diameter like here something around five and now we're going to make a teeth first, so like this. And now we can paint it in. So you can take as long as you want for this. I'm just going to go quickly over it because I don't want to make this tutorial too long. So you just kind of want to draw a skull and then I'll be back soon and I'll show you the result. So you can also copy it if you want. All right, so we got something like this and you also want to enable this setting here, the duration and set it to constant. So that's also very important uh, before you start drawing because this will make sure that your drawing will actually stay after the point you actually started because before it, it does uh, disappear. So yeah, now you can just go to that frame again where you first started, so here. And then you want to add a solid layer so you can press Ctrl plus Y or you can go here, right click new and then solid and then just call it um, skull. All right, then here you're gonna press E for effects. And then here you can see your paint, so you can just select it and then Ctrl plus C. Go to your solid layer and then Ctrl plus V. All right, so now it should appear on your solid as well. Uh, looks kind of creepy, honestly, but yeah. And then here you can set it to screen. And then here on your actual layer, you can just delete it uh, because we won't need it anymore. So delete your paint. And then now we have it on like a separate layer, so we can actually move it around too. All right, so now what we're going to do is cut our layer. So select your solid layer, Ctrl Shift plus D and then delete things before it. All right, then here you're going to press P and then just enable this watch here. And now you can go one frame forward and then just move it around a little and just kind of track your drawing to his face. You can also uh, press Shift plus S to open up the skill too. So you can also play around with that. So for example, here it actually zooms out a little. So let's just change that as well. All right, so only a few frames like this. And now you can also cut this one. So Control Shift plus D and delete the rest. So now it's kind of tracked to his face. And now we also want to make it glitch a little more because now it kind of looks goofy. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is make the actual skull glitch. And then after that, we're also going to make an overall glitch. So the clip will also have some glitches. So the first thing you'll do to your skull layer is just cut it up a little and then make these like small parts where you change the blending mode. So for example, here, you want to set it to difference, for example. And then here we can make another one. And let's change that one to Overlay, for example, doesn't look too good. Maybe subtract. All right, that one looks better. All right, and then here we're going to make a difference again. And then let's make a last one. And here we're going to make it subtract again. All right, so it looks like this. Now what you can do is add the overall glitch. So Control Alt plus Y to add an adjustment layer, or you can go here, right click new and then adjustment layer. All right, so here we're going to add an invert effect like this. All right, that looks really creepy. Um, and we're kind of gonna do the same thing uh, and just select a few parts like here and just keyframe this value here. So here it will be 0% and then here we're gonna make it 100 and then after it, we're going to make it 100 as well. And now we're just going to make one glitch here. So at the end, so basically what the 0% means is that we basically don't blend it in at all with our original clip. So the invert effect will completely be visible. And if you put it at 100, you might think it's like 100% of the invert effect, but it's actually kind of the opposite. You just blend it 100% with your original one. So it's basically your effect completely off. We're also going to make some position glitches. So what you can do is just add an effect called transform. And then as you can see, it's like basically the exact same as the other transform effects. But if you put it on an adjustment layer, you can also just move around your entire clip. So we're also just going to choose a random spot and we're just going to scale it up like this. Sometimes this might seem random, but that's exactly what you need. Like, especially for glitches, you just want it to be as random as possible and that will look the best. All right, so now the exact same thing, you go one frame back and then you right click on your position and then reset it, right click on your scale and then reset it as well. And then one frame forward and then you can do the exact same thing. And now as you can see, it also has some movement and this can make it look very impactful. So, all right, so those are kind of the basics of how to make this effect. Obviously you could add a lot more glitches to the skull itself. I'm thinking about wave warp, for example. 
And then you can create some really aggressive effects with that as well. All right, so that's how you create the skeleton effect. Obviously, you can like draw an entire skeleton, for example, here. And that will look really cool, honestly. If you happen to make that, definitely mention me in the description because I'd like to see that. Or join my Discord server and you can show it me there. So yeah, hopefully you learned a lot. And if you did, make sure to subscribe. And if you want me to help you even more with After Effects, then make sure to go to the first link in the description down below. All right, bye-bye.